So it's been a while, guys. Um, I did a boudoir shoot. I'm going to kind of talk about this light real quick. Um, I got this soft box from somebody. really like it. It's real quick, detachable, but it's huge, right? It's massive. Um, I did this shoot um, with that light. Now, I never really used the light. Uh, I used more of the reflector um, on it a little bit. I had it really turned down quite a bit. I wanted that dark moody. You can see on the left-hand side kind of that dark moody, how it is. I shot with two different models, or two different young ladies. They weren't models, sorry, they're young ladies. Um, they don't have like any OnlyFans or any of that kind of stuff. They're just straight women that are getting into it, that want to do it. Um, I mean, just, they're absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. I love the mirrors in this place. Now, this mirror was tricky. I didn't angle it right, but I laid down on the ground. I know you didn't really see it, but I laid down on the ground to get a couple of shots, especially this purple one over here. Um, it was pretty good. Now, if you look at the one in the middle, it has this like... Uh, banding right it's the gopro that's banding like that and so it has that it's weird but the camera picked it up and it did pretty good i can't show you a lot of the other stuff i mean this picture right here is best i can do but i covered it up on here because youtube is weird about sex and showing women's bodies and all that kind of stuff but uh i did blur a lot out um again if you ever want to see it you can go to my patreon and uh an unedited version of this is there uh, it'll be up by the end of the week, but it's just it's weird. I mean, I really enjoyed shooting this now this shot right here Like I said, I was on the ground You can kind of see me right here on the ground and I tilted the mirror back a little bit so that I can get this angle up But whenever you're doing this kind of mirror shot you want them as close as you can to that mirror As possible now I did have her drop her underwear. I should have done it differently But I had her drop her underwear and take that kind of shot that was there um now this one, I tried on one side and then I switched her to the other side because of the natural light that's coming out, you're gonna see the kind of the, that right there. I didn't do anything really in post editing during the time period, it's just straight from the light from the, the room. Now this one's edited a little bit. And, um, and so I really did enjoy this studio. It's really nice, it had a lot of natural light. Really, really gorgeous place. Two, two beautiful, beautiful um, rooms, right? Like a living room upstairs and uh, like a bedroom on the other side. It was a bathroom. We were going to do a couple of shots in there, but we ended up not doing them. Um, but I love the net. Like right here, no flash. It's just natural light straight up on her. Now, the ISO was a little high. It was, I think, 600 uh, with the Fuji X-T5, but it did really, really well. I don't remember if I did the next shot here in a second, but it has, uh, what is it called, a um, uh, like a nice little glow to it. And uh, But this this window that you're looking at, there's two windows. One window is uh, natural light. The other window is like a luminescent um, LEDs, but that don't look like LEDs, which I really liked. I wish I had known what she used uh, during the time period. This is the part of the show that's a little bit nude, that's covered up. Um, uh, we did a couple of shots uh, in, in that. Now, the rest of these are pretty much shots. That at the end, there's a little video you know, of them walking around you know, that I kind of want to do. Uh, but these are my artistic stuff, like this light on the blue, this is the LED, right? But you can't tell that it's LED, which I really, really love. It looks like an actual natural light window, which is amazing. Uh, this is kind of like the video that we were doing. She wanted to get it kind of like a slow-mo, kind of her putting this stocking up. Now, one thing that I did find that was interesting about people with stockings is there was a lady that told me one time she didn't like women that wear stockings because sometimes it shows like the roll fat that's on there. But bigger women, yeah, it's going to show a little bit of, you know, it's going to be a little tight around their thighs, and it's going to show a little bit of fat. And so it's just kind of one of those things that you have to deal with. But if you get a skinny young lady like this, you're not going to see it. And also, if you get one of the thigh highs that fit them, then you'll never see the, the rolls or anything like that. Now, I did do this kind of, I guess this is a little too slow-mo for most people. But if you want to watch now, this, 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 um, light coming out of this window, the sun was literally setting on that side of the house, which is amazing. And um, and so it gave this beautiful natural light and this like dark kind of tone on both sides that I wanted to kind of get a shot of, but I couldn't do it in that room because of that mirror. And so I don't know if it's Peter, I can't remember his name, but um, he does this black and white with these walls that remind me of middle school pictures or high school pictures done in high school with those like generic blue walls in the background or something like that. But um, I like his shots. They're very unique, and he uses a lot of this the shadow and light type of thing, which I kind of wanted to do here, and I was trying to do, but we just ran out of time because they wanted this video at the end, and 
I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Um, now, the Fuji X-T5, this is all handheld. There's no gimbal. You know, all those people that complained for a long time about not being able to um, handhold the video and all this kind of stuff is too janky. They're walking around. I mean, if you're standing there, and I'm not a steel person. My hands shake a little bit. I mean, th this is actually really, really nice, smooth video for the um, X-T5. Right now here, I'm moving a little bit. You can see a little bit of the shaking. And then uh, it kind of goes away right here because you go into slow-mo, you can barely even see the shaking that's going on. Now again, just a disclaimer, there's a little bit of nudity here. Um, I did blot it out, but you know you might be able to see something. Uh, don't report me on YouTube. And I, I just can't stand YouTube sometimes. Like, Why are they so against this kind of stuff? Um, I don't know how the other boudoir uh, video uh, YouTubes make it. Because my stuff, I have a couple of shorts, and they get like two or three views. And the um, the algorithm doesn't show it, right? But I have Lego stuff up, and it shows like two, two, three hundred people at a time. And it's just crazy to me uh, that YouTube just doesn't like it. Like, I get that they're all a scrutiny and everything. But if you have something that says kids are not safe for kids, then, you know, it doesn't, they shouldn't be looking at it, right? But, um Anyway, so this is the this is the shoot. They wanted this little video. I was like, cool, let's do it. We did this little short little video with her. Her friend was in there too, uh, off to the side. We were doing some stuff. But um, overall, you know, it was just supposed to be like something kind of sexy for them. And I was cool doing it. I wanted to test out video with the X-T5 and see how it worked and how things were. And it came out pretty good. I actually enjoyed it, had fun. And um, you have a good day. But yeah, we had a pretty good day. These next couple of shots, I know it's a little long. You don't have to stay to the end. Um, but it does show kind of like this really cool little thing that we were doing. Um, I like to get that shot where it's just the bottom, you know, of the, the breast that's in here with the light. I was trying to do some shadows and stuff like that. But this was kind of like blocking out uh, some of the stuff in the mirror. Now, mirrors are really, really tricky. I, I got to give it to them. They, you know, people do certain things in mirrors. And I don't know how they do them. I try every single time, but I waste 20, 30, 40 minutes doing these mirror shots. But I wish you a good day, a good night, and I'll see you on the other side.